What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it. Because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a raffle. Um, today's a very exciting day. I got the transmission. I'm about to bring the engine, the engine block out from the house. And it looks like it's going to rain. It was raining earlier. The ground is still kind of wet. But that's not going to stop me. I'm going to go ahead, bring the engine out, assemble it, put them both together. And if it doesn't rain, continue and try to drag, drag that underneath the car and start to uh, set it up. But right now, I'm going to go inside and grab that engine. So here's the engine. I'm about to take it outside right now. Take this plastic off. So I just carried the engine block all the way out here. Um, we are pretty much ready. I got my throw out bearing that I need to put in there, the new one. And also I got my, uh, what are they? I got the bolts that are going to go in there. That's what I meant to say. Um, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in. This is a throwout bearing. It's a brand new one that came with the clutch. And this guy is just gonna slide in there. Just like that, just slide in there. And you guys can see these little grooves back here. These are actually gonna hook onto this guy, onto the fork. So what I like to do when I assemble this is I'll take my pin and you can see that the pin, the shape that it has. So basically, I want this shape that goes like inward. I want it facing that side of the transmission. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this guy on here. Then I'm gonna put the throwout bearing in. And then I'm gonna slide this guy in. Then pull this guy, slider, make sure it slides in there in the fork. Line up this right here with the back. And then to secure it all, you have this clip. This clip is actually going to go through this hole. Make sure it goes through the hole and then you clip it on each side. And that's going to secure your fork from going anywhere. And it should also secure your throwout bearing from going anywhere. And right there you can see where the little clip came out through. And then it's got clips on the side that it goes through. And you guys can see that this right here has a little bit of uh, rust forming on there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease on this. So it doesn't get jammed up in there inside the clutch i'm pretty much ready to line this guy up with that guy i got my bolts right here right under here those are all gonna be i believe 17. so i'm gonna go ahead and try and mock it up because look at the clouds i want to get this covered up before any rain or anything starts I just use the impact. I put this guy, this guy, this guy, this one, and one back here. I never torque these. I never have, and I never will. I just go ahead and send them with the impact. Um, it's always worked for me. So that's exactly how I'm gonna do it this time. But this thing looks pretty good. 
I did use this thing. It's a mud pan for like um, drywall for mixing your compound. I slid it under there and it worked perfect. So this is how far I am. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. The sun keeps coming out, but then the clouds also keep coming by. Um, it did feel like it was gonna rain a little bit ago and I don't wanna risk it. So I went ahead and I covered everything. So I'll see you guys in two seconds, which will be a different day. So today's the day that I'm gonna get this guy in there. Um, I did jack up the car already. Got some jack stands on both sides. And hopefully I have enough clearance under there to slide this engine under. I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and let's see how far we get. It has taken me 45 minutes from when I started dragging the engine to where it's at now. You gotta remember, I am by myself um, and I have nobody to help me do this, but it has been exactly 45 minutes. So it started raining. Look at the wind. The wind starting to pick up. You guys seen that? Little nest quick is ran past. A little bunny. That must have been Kyle's bunny from Boosted because that thing was moving. So this is gonna be the end of the video. Um, I will continue recording. We still gotta do axles, we gotta do wire harness. Um, there's still a whole bunch of little things that we gotta do before we could put the head on there. I do want to order the ARP head studs as soon as possible to get them um, here so we can start putting the head on once we get started pretty soon. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.